Welcome back. It is 928. So there's an effort to keep our city's homeless population warm this upcoming winter. Casey McKinnon was in Mira Mesa checking out the Lucky Duck Foundation supply distribution. She left us this report. Good morning. We are live at the MJB Freight Systems where the Lucky Duck Foundation and the Qualia Foundation have partnered together to help the un unsheltered homeless in San Diego. So I have a board member from the Lucky Duck Foundation, Dan Shea. Dan, great. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to see you. Talk about what's going on today. So we were introduced to a group out of Detroit that makes sleeping bag jackets and we, as soon as we saw them we knew we wanted them for the unsheltered homeless in San Diego. So out of MJB Freight we distribute the unsheltered uh, food programs three times a week, get, getting food out to thousands and thousands of people and today is to bring the jackets out and get them to the unsheltered homeless. Yeah, and they, they've already been distributed and they keep going out to the homeless. What's it like for these people to get some shelter, some uh, a sleeping bag that turns into a jacket? Well, you know, the elements, even in San Diego, it's darn cold out here at night and um, it, it's life-saving to some, especially during the winter weather and because we have not yet been able to get the uh, city and county government to open up the, in, the, uh, the buildings that are not being used right now. We thought the next best thing is to get the, the sleeping jacket, sleeping bag jackets out. <laughs> and I know you've also partnered with Feeding San Diego and you distribute a lot of food to help so many people in need right here at MJB Freight Systems. We do. So we put out over 330 or so thousand meals just in the last couple of months to the unsheltered in San Diego. All right. Well, Dan, thank you so much for sharing what you guys are doing. I know the Lucky Duck Foundation helps so many people in need. But these sleeping bags that are also jackets were made from Detroit and brought over here. So I have Veronica with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So what you have on your shoulder right now is the jacket that turns into a sleeping bag or yes. vice versa yes it is a coat that turns into a sleeping bag made in detroit by individuals that were formerly homeless we hire from across the city from different shelters and we employ them to produce these incredible coats so i can show you a little demonstration of the coat if you would like i would love that because they're really really cool i'm going to step to this side so you can have your right arm <laughs> so you can wear it as an over the shoulder bag the sleeves themselves are the straps so if you unbuckle there and then unbuckle at the hood, it unrolls into the jacket. And then what we call the foot bag, which is actually the sleeping bag component, is folded up inside the coat. So you can actually wear it as a sleeping bag while you're wearing it as a coat. So you can, don't have to take anything off. And the whole thing is water resistant and incredibly warm because it's built for, you know, Detroit winters. Uh, and then also the sleeping bag part is completely detachable. So if somebody wants to use it for storage, they can. So you are the CEO and founder of the Empowerment mm -hmm. Plan. How did you come up with this idea? So it was a class project of mine in college uh, and it has grown obviously a lot since then. But I think what has, for me, been a deeply personal project. You know, I grew up in a situation of poverty and with parents that struggled with, you know, addiction and mental health and unemployment. So this is something I wish my own family had been given. So this comes from, you know, what I want to give back to the world. Yeah, and how amazing is it for you to mm -hmm start this and bring it to San Diego and help so many more people in need. It is incredible to be here in San Diego. One, just to drive around yesterday and hand out coats myself, to really see the need here is powerful. Um, and right now we've done, since we started 45,000 coats across the entire US and now 20 other countries. And just to be able to have that reach is incredibly powerful. And it's also exciting for all those that we employ back home to be able to give back to somebody that was in their position. I think there's something about that, that they're, they're giving back through the work that they do. And that every single person we've ever employed moves out of the shelter within the first four to six weeks of working with us. And no one has fallen back into homelessness once they've been employed by us. 
Well, Veronica, we've been here at MJB Freight Systems just watching these jackets just get distributed. Just cars kept coming and they're picking them up and they're going to all of those unsheltered homeless in San Diego County. So great work that the Lucky Duck Foundation, the Qualia Foundation and the Empowerment Plan are doing out here. We're going to send things back to you.